We'd like to experiment with as much as possible. Hi. Welcome. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, second album coming in uh, about one and a half of a month or something like that. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what kind of things did you learn in the past year that uh, that, that you uh, yeah showed on this record? Um, I guess. I mean, we we've been able to do it a bit more intensively. So I guess uh, we've, we've learned how to kind of maintain distance to, to judge uh, things because it's really important that we let the sen our sensibilities at the forefront of the music so I think uh, yeah I guess we, we kind of have um, uh, we've honed in on what we enjoy that's, that's what we do. Yeah. and you if, do you have the feeling you do what you enjoy the most now at the moment or I'm really satisfied with uh, we're both really satisfied with what we're doing yeah, you're, uh, the way you make music, you always describe it as uh, yeah, your numbers flow out of uh, uh, ex exper experiments, long jam sessions. But uh, how, how, what amount of time uh, is necessary to, to forge a song into uh, a song that you want to put on a record? It can, you know, it, it takes as long as it takes. You know, we're, we don't have any like um, premeditation when we start to write a track. You know, we don't. We, we can't, we don't step into the songwriting process with, a, with an end result in, in sight. You know, we don't know how it's going to sound. We just literally um, experiment with whatever we have at hand at the time. And then how, you know, the manifestation of those um, explorations, uh, you know, the, it, it, it's, it's what becomes a, a track for us. But it can take, it, it, it really takes as long as it takes, you know, I mean, it, you know, we some of, some of the tracks that we're, that we're even playing now um, have, have evolved so much. You know, like take for example one one track off um, Street Horsing. I know that's the first record, but um, Race You to My Bedroom is actually one of the first tracks that we ever wrote, and it just went over such a long evolution uh, until it was actually in its finished form. So you know it can it, it, it can it can take it can take a while or it can take like a short amount of time. It's it's, it's not really any kind of set length of time. Yeah. When when do you know when to push the button? Like now, now it's finished. Now now we don't touch it anymore. I think what Andy was saying about the space um, is is very important because I think if we didn't have if we didn't have the space away from these things, then we we could probably go on forever. But the space is what. Gives us the room to kind of say, okay, this this track is finished. This doesn't need anything else. Are there certain tracks that are that were born on stage? Like uh, you did some something on stage, uh, and you later thought, hey, maybe this could end up in a track in a track eventually. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Not no. yet. Yeah. yeah. Is is that possible for you, or does uh, everything has to uh, has to be created in a, in a in a certain setting with uh, maybe studio or somewhere else. We 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 make songs to play live. Um, whether it's possible that a song can come out from playing live, I don't see why not. Um, but it hasn't done so yet. Okay. Is it still, uh, did you discover some new tools or other stuff uh, for this album? Uh, where you really, what you really like to experiment with, like uh, maybe some other toys or stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we'd like to experiment with as much as possible, and you know, we have there's there's, a, there's lots of new um, equipment that we've that we've utilised on the new record as well. That we don't have any kind of like cutoff point or anything like that. Or any anything specifically at the moment, but you know there's, there's plenty of equipment out there that we probably don't even know exists yet. So you know, when we do find out it exists, I'm sure we'd like to try it out. <laughs> Is it something that you really uh, are searching for? Like we need to find some new sounds, or is it something that just comes on your way? I think the more something can do, the more useful it is for us. Uh, so we, you know. When we first started out, we were using keyboards with a lot of different settings on them. Now we're starting to use synthesizers where we can produce 
a lot of sounds from. Um, yeah, it's, I guess, uh, the more choice, the better, so that we can, uh, so we can wean down the ones that we do enjoy, the sounds, which is really important for us. Okay. Yeah.